name is Lauren Bro. Today is September 18th. We're here in Montague, Louisiana. Montague is a very small fishing town just south of Homa. We're on Bayou Terrebonne. Um, and so if you're familiar at all with uh, swamps of the bayou, if you're familiar, if you've ever been down here going fishing in Cocodree, you pass right through Montague. We wanted to come to a smaller town. Their need was great and we could meet them where they were. Everything from cleaning supplies to school supplies uh, and everything in between, medicine, diapers, wipes, all the things. And we're just having people pull through and then loading it into their car. No one here waits for federal assistance or government aid. They have been recovering from hurricanes for hundreds of years. They wake up the next morning, they clean up the mess, they band together with their community, their families and their neighbors, and they rebuild. They don't wait for handouts. And so when we have an event like this where we can help them with that, the response is overwhelming. Whether we're a part of their community or not, we understand and we recognize their resilience and we want to honor that by assisting them with that. The state of Louisiana is an ag state, so the people in these bayou regions are fishermen, they're crabbers, they're shrimpers. They are bringing in Louisiana seafood to the rest of the world. They are the people, the backbone of what give, gives us our amazing reputation as an ag state. And it's very, it's, it's very unique. It's, you know, we have cattlemen here, we have ranchers here, we have crop row croppers here. Um, but a lot of these people in this area, their agriculture is what's coming out of that bayou. We never want it to be our turn, but when it's not our turn, we go down and we help those people. And that is just, I, again, I have never been more proud than, to, than now to be a part of Louisiana Women in Agriculture. At the end of the day, more than 5,000 meals were served to the locals who came through that line. Hurricane Ida has left the news headlines, but communities most impacted in South Louisiana are still feeling the effects of the storm. Lauren Bro and the Louisiana Women in Agriculture are still collecting school supplies for those communities, and we linked to their Amazon shopping list on our website, and you can find that at twilighttv.org. That is a great way that you can help people that are still hurting from the storm.